Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to discuss what in God's name is going on with SoFi. But before we get to that, let me say something extremely important, right? So SoFi is now sitting at $7. It is at an all time low, not a 52 week low, all time low, right? And this goes back to what I always preach on this channel. Those types of stocks should never make up a significant a portion of your portfolio. And this is why, right? SoFi is down huge. Even one of my favorite stocks, DraftKings, is down huge. Last time I checked, DraftKings was at $16. It was just at $20 the other day, right? So my main point is, but, but also look at stocks like Apple, Microsoft, and VOO Index Fund. Look at those. Index funds overall, well, as long as it's a good index fund, like S&P 500 index fund, like VOO, is holding up well. VOO is holding up well. Microsoft is not down very much, maybe like half a percent. Apple in the same boat, not down very much. But if you look at all of these other risky stocks, right? SoFi, down huge. DraftKings, down huge. Even Jeremy stocks, Tattooed Chef, Honest Company, Voyager Digital, all down huge. People think that I'm a hater when I'm just really trying to show you guys the fundamentals and how to do well, right? So when I say what I say, you know, don't get mad and just say, oh, you're just hating on my stock. No, I'm really trying to show you the fundamentals. Everybody else is down huge. Your favorite YouTuber is down huge. He won't show you that. But your favorite YouTuber is getting smoked today, right? Anyway, enough rambling. Let me get over to why SoFi is down so much. Number one, I do own, I own a position in SoFi. Um, SoFi does make up less than 5% of my portfolio. That's why, because things like that happen. And... Uh, SoFi is a stock that I am bullish on. I believe in it. I think it can grow and become a very good company in the future. So I don't do so I do own a little bit of SoFi, right? But let's get into why the stock is down. It's very, very simple. It's the student loans. It's the moratorium. Joe Biden extended the moratorium to August. Everybody's smart enough to recognize that he's going to extend it for the rest of the year. We all know this. And so what's happening is the market is now pricing that in. Because for May, we weren't so sure. We didn't know. We there was a pretty decent chance. That he would finally uh, make people pay their student loans uh, starting in May. But now he comes out with this extending the moratorium and investors are now wise enough to know that probably going to continue for the entire year. And depending on what happens in politics, it could continue into 2023. Yes, I know that sounds crazy, but it could happen. And so the market is pricing that in. They're pricing in the future, what they believe will happen. They're pricing in not student loans being paused until August, but they're pricing in student loans being paused until the end of the year because that's more than likely what is going to happen. I would bet on it, seriously. Like that's more than likely what was going to happen. And as a matter of fact, even Anthony Noto came out and said that that's what's going to happen. So that's number one. Number two, you had a bunch of analysts come out and cut their price projections on uh, SoFi, and for obvious reasons, um, student loan makes up a significant portion of SoFi's revenue. Remember, SoFi does credit card loans, school loans, personal loans, all those different things, but student loans, uh, refinancing and things like that makes up a significant portion of their revenue. So that's a huge reason why SoFi is down today. But if you want my honest opinion, I'm not worried about it. You know, I really don't care. Uh, I expect this to be a bad year for SoFi. You know, I think I have a video way back where I said I wouldn't be surprised to see SoFi at $5 and now we're starting to get there. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I forget how much cash they have, but they do not have nearly as much cash on hand as they have in like liabilities. You know, like they have such little cash that when they bought that company called uh, Technesis, they had to use shares to buy the company. Like they couldn't even buy it in cash. So they created more shares and they're diluting shareholders, which they were already diluting the heck out of shareholders in 2021. And now coming to 2022, they're doing it again. So that's another reason why I always thought that the stock was going to drop anyway, because you're adding all these new shares to the pool, like you're diluting shareholders. And I don't like that for a company like this. The other parts of SoFi is you have to remember, SoFi is not profitable. So everything is geared towards, will this company become profitable? And if you think this company is going to become profitable, then it makes sense to invest in the company, which is what I'm doing. But I will say this, don't expect SoFi to be profitable anytime soon. It's gonna be like five years before this company becomes profitable. That's just a God honest truth. And with this student loan hit that they just took, that's not good. You know, that, that really hurts them. So far, a student loan makes up a significant portion of the revenue. Now, thankfully, this company has done well enough where they've been able to beat analyst expectations. 
uh, even with the moratorium going on. So they get a lot of credit for that. That is very impressive. However, if you want my honest opinion, I would not be surprised if one of these quarters this year, they miss on analyst expectations. It would not surprise me. Now, if they're able to meet expectations or surpass them every quarter this year, that would be insanely impressive, but I do not expect that. I expect a miss in one of the quarters this year. So uh, that's what I think. And that's basically what's going on with the stock. People are just pricing in what's happening. Like, holy cow, there's already a lot of peak fear in the market going on right now. And then you got a huge impact to SoFi's business that just got affected. So, you know, that's pretty much what's going on. Now, what is my opinion and what am I doing? My opinion is, yes, I do believe there is a ton of opportunity in this stock, especially at this price. And if it goes to five dollars, that would be even better. Um, I believe in the company. I do. I think this company could eventually become a fantastic uh, company and bring in really good revenue and a lot of cash. I really do. But you guys got to understand, this is not an overnight company. This is a growth company. This is a growth story. And right now, their growth is being impacted. You know, they cut their forecast and their outlook for the rest of the year because of this moratorium thing. And the year pretty much just started. We're only like four months in. So, you know, you got to understand that. You got to understand the share dilution and why that's not good for shareholders. And if you want my honest opinion, I think more share dilution is coming. So my overall message in this video is... I wouldn't panic sell out of SoFi. I mean, I'm not panicking out of SoFi. Now, if you own way too many shares in the company, then that might be different. But for me personally, I'm not panicking out of the company. As a matter of fact, I'm probably going to buy more, but I'm not going to do it yet. I'm going to wait. I'm going to see if this thing goes sub seven. I think it's going to go under $7. I don't know. I could be wrong, but we're going to see. And if it goes under $7, then I probably will uh, pull the trigger and buy just a little bit. I, I do not want a crazy huge position in this because as you guys see, as you guys can see, this is risky, <laughs> you know? So uh, those are my thoughts. I do still believe in the company. As long as Anthony Noto's the CEO, I am a big believer in the company. So uh, I guess we'll go ahead and see what happens. You know, it'll be a very interesting few, week, few weeks as we see uh, what the stock does. So uh, there you have it. That'll go ahead and conclude today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.